Hello, good morning everybody. This is Arun once again and let me tell you that this year also I'll be there with you as your English teacher. Well, how are you? So I hope that you're all doing well and safe at home and I'm too happy that I could see your faces before some days. And a little bit sad too because I cannot see your faces directly. So I'm eagerly waiting for you. So anyway, be there at home and safe. So I think that you all might have got your textbooks and all, English textbooks and all. So let me introduce your textbook. It is called as Honeysuckle. What's it? It's called as Honeysuckle. So it doesn't mean anything with the honey or suckle, just leave it. It is a word, Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle means it's a, it's a plant with a lot of beautiful sweet flowers. Okay, honeysuckle means a plant with a lot of beautiful flowers. Well, if you Google it, honeysuckle, you will get such a picture. Okay, a picture of a plant with a lot of beautiful sweet flowers. Got it. So, if you would like to do, you can also Google and see the picture. So, anyway, well, on your book, there is a beautiful picture. Uh, you can see as friends, uh, a, a boy was there, a lot of animals are there. Some plants are there. So anyway, sure, this book will be certainly a beautiful experience for you. That much beautiful stories and poems are there in this book. We have no time to waste. So we are moving directly into the first chapter. Who did Patrick's homework? So the first chapter is Who did Patrick's homework who did Patrick's homework is our first chapter before moving to the chapter let me ask you a question I want a sincere answer do you miss your school do you miss your friends do you miss your teachers I think yes because you were very much happy by coming to school to meet your friends to talk with your teachers to do interesting assignments but the question is, do you miss homeworks? Were you enjoying homeworks? I think no. 90% of you, I'm sure that as an ordinary student, they may do not like to do homeworks. Why? Because we feel, just because we are going home in the evening after, after a long class, we are tired and we want to play with our friends, we want to watch TV, but the homework will never allow anything. So we used to hate homework, but unfortunately we have to do it, no other ways. If you're not doing homework, the next day the teacher will ask, where is your homework? Why didn't you do your homeworks? You have punishments, a lot of questions will be there, we want to answer. So without any interest, we used to do homeworks. Imagine if you get a person, if you get a friend who will do all your homeworks from your home. Everything he will write, he will write all the homeworks for you. Just imagine how interesting it will be, isn't it? See, if you get such a chance, you don't want to do anything. You can play nicely, you can watch TV and all the works he will do, your friend will do. And you can present all the homeworks next day in the class and you can be the star because you are doing all the works. But the secret is all the homeworks are doing by some others. Your friend. If the friend is an elf, E-L-F, if it is an elf, elf means what? L. Luttapi, you know. Luttapi is an elf. Mayavi, so he's also an elf. Okay, the Malayalam word will be familiar. I think Kutichatan. So that is called L. So if you get an elf as your friend to do all your homeworks, how beautiful your life will be. Can you imagine? So such a story we are going to learn. The story of Patrick. Patrick is a boy like you who used to do hate homeworks, who never do any, who never did any homeworks, who got a friend 
an elf to do homeworks. So that is the story who did Patrick's homework. So I hope that you are ready and what you want to do is keep your textbook with you. So when I read the text with the tip of your finger or with a pencil or a pen, just follow the lines when I read and read with me. Let's read together. So we are moving to the first chapter, page number seven. Who did Patrick's homework? Listen, Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. Just like you, just like any other students, he also never, he is not also interested to do homework. And he always say about homework, too boring it is. Boring, boring, he said. And instead of that, he used to play hockey, basketball and Nintendo. It means video games. And he teaches, his teachers told him, Patrick, do your homeworks or you won't learn a thing like your teachers. His teacher also told him, please do your homework, otherwise you will not learn anything. So do it. They were always disturbing him by saying this. And it's true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. So he also felt sometimes as an ignoramus. Means what? In the right side, ignorant person. But what could he do? He hated homework. He is helpless. See, I wish to do homework, but I cannot, I, did, I didn't feel like doing it, so he said. Then one day, he found his cat, what's it? Cat, not cat, it's cat, C-A-T, cat. Found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. So one day he saw that he had a little cat. The cat was playing with a doll, a small toy, so he grabbed the toy. Grabbing means what? taking faster from him. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll. It wasn't a toy. It was not a toy. The cat was playing with, uh, but a man of the tiniest size. Tiniest size. Tiny means too small. It was a tiniest sized man. There is a Malayalam film named as Al Dibu, the story of a lot of small tiny people. So he got two small ones from the cat. He had a little wool shirt. Wool shirt means made of wool, means very thick. With old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat. Breeches means what? Short trousers. An old fashioned, old sail trouser also. And a tall hat. Much like a witches he yelled. Witches means what? Which stories I have told you last year, I think. In Malayalam we say Durmandravadi means a person who do some black magic. So just like a witch's cap, he also was wearing a tall hat. He yelled. Yelled means he cried louder, save me. Don't give me back to that cat. I will grant you a wish, I promise you that. So that small tiny man was yelling, means crying. What? Please save me. Don't give me to that cat. And if you are saving me, I will grant you a wish. I will promise that I will help you to complete one of your wish. I promise. So, okay. Clear? So, Patrick was a person who was very much lazy to do homeworks. Always his teachers were uh, complaining about his habit. And he was interested in playing all other games. So one day he saw his little cat was playing with a toy. He grabbed the toy from the cat, but when he looked, it was not a toy. It was a small tiny man with a wool thick shirt and old fashioned trousers and a tall hat like a witch. And that small tiny person cried, save me, please. Don't take me, don't give me to that cat. It will eat me. So please, if you save me, I will, I will help you to so, uh, complete one of your wish. I promise. So that's it. If you were in the, if you were in the uh, situation, if you were in the stand of Patrick, what uh, wish will you ask? I'm sure. What will be the wish? Ah, you should do my homework. Patrick also asked the same. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. 
Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he was very happy to get such a question from a small tiny person. Any wish I will do. So he was very happy. All my problems are going to be solved, he thought. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 34 years. Actually, after 34 years, my, this semester will be over. So till that semester means the time of study, period, the period of studies, it will be over. For the 35 years, you want to do something. What it is, if you do a, if you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. What is A's? A means a grade. A's I will get means a grade. So for the coming 35 years, sorry, coming 35 days, Till my semester gets over, you have to do all my homeworks. So if you do that, I will get always A marks in the classroom. The little man's face wrinkled like a dis dis cloth thrown into a hamper. So see, by listening to that condition, uh, what happened? His face wrinkled. This is wrinkled. Like a dish cloth thrown to a hamper. Hamper means what? A basket with a lid. Means a waste basket. If we take a paper, if we take a paper and we wrinkle and throw it away. Such a condition, his face also changed. Means he didn't like that condition. And he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grim grimaced and scrolled and pursed his lips. So there are a lot of new words out there. So by listening to the boy's condition, his face became wrinkled like a discloth and he kicked his legs and doubled his feet. Kicked his legs and doubled his feet. Oh my God. Then what? And he grimaced. Grimaced means what? And uh, grimaced, scald, pursues, he sleeps means his face had these expressions, these kinds of expression. Oh my God. Means he was angry. Oh, I am cursed, means something negative happened to me, but I will do it. By listening to the condition of the boy, he felt very angry, depressed. And he said, oh my God, I cannot do this. But anyway, I will do it because you saved from the cat, saved me from the cat. So I will do it. Okay. So the story is moving to another level because when he saved the cat, he demanded that you have to do all my homework till the semester got end. The, then if you do all the homeworks, he will get, Patrick will get a, a grade for all the subjects. And by listening to this condition, the tiny person was very angry and depressed and he made his face like this. But he said, anyway, if I don't like it or not, I will do it. That's all. So that's all for today. What you want to do is to open your textbooks and read it more times. And if there is any doubts you feel, you can call me and can ask me at any time. And one small simple activity I would like to do. My question is, do you like homework? The question is, do you like homeworks? And why? So you want to write a paragraph as an answer, a small paragraph. Do you like homework? If it is yes, why? Means what are the benefits of writing homeworks? And do you like homeworks? If it is no, why? What are the disadvantages? Means what are the problems you are facing by homeworks? So write your answer as a small paragraph and present. That's all for today. Let's meet in the next class. Thank you and have a nice time.